Welcome to Mr. Bacon Pants Plays the Games. Today we are playing Through the Ages. This game is a new story of civilization. Now that, that is the tagline. When this game came out, it was an extreme obsession of mine. I played it literally every day, maybe once or twice a day. I also played online as well. And it was a really good asynchronous multiplayer game online. They did modify the rules a bit to make it play a little bit better online in that format, um, which I think is fine. I actually would rather games do that. Um, but yeah, this game is made by CGE, um, and they did a really great job. This is a game that has a really fun tutorial. This is a very deep, complex game, and the tutorial does a really great job of making it fun and easy. I'm not going to spoil it for you because uh, this video will not be a tutorial. So I suggest that you do the tutorial that comes with the game. But just know that it's like really enjoyable. There's a lot of funny and wit in there. It gets silly, but it teaches you a really complex game. It does a really good job. Like after you play the tutorial, you can do fairly well. You have every, you, you know everything you need to know. Um, this game just comes jam packed with features you got custom games you got challenges tutorial hot seat um, you got on, an online lobby as well um, which is really great you got match you, know, you just create games you want to do a slow game fast game you know, real-time game things like that um, has decent amount of settings uh, of course there is music but i have it turned down because of youtube they don't want uh, copyrighted music uh, but yeah pretty decent little uh, settings menu here um, and then this is my online account. So if you want to play me, you can go ahead and, and uh, if I am playing, you can try to start a new game. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead. We're going to do a custom game just to kind of show you how this plays. We're going to do two player. I think two player uh, will make this go a little bit faster because this is a, a fairly long game. So we'll do uh, not the hardest. I'm not that great at this game. Do a female green. Miss Green versus Mosley, digital rules. So here's where you can kind of pick the rules that you want as written or the digital version. We'll do the digital version. Um, we'll do the original base game. So original set of cards as they appear in the tabletop board game. The card, okay, this is it. The card set for the digital base game, which is updated versions of the cards that were rebalanced for the expansion. Let's do the, let's do the base game. Let's do the new base game. Like I said, just so many options. That's why this game is so awesome. If you haven't checked it out, through the ages, it's on Steam, it's on iOS, it's on Android. Uh, play it; it's it's great. You're you're gonna see it. I'm really excited to show it to you. Uh, it is a long game, so YouTube will probably hate this because it's gonna be a little bit too long of a video. Uh, so right now we're nobodies. We're just kind of like these people living living their life. We have a couple spearmen. We have farms where we can generate food. We have mines that help us generate iron. We have science to help us generate research, and we have, uh, what, what is this? Oh, a temple to help us generate culture. Culture is the victory points of the game. Uh, this is how many civic actions I have. This is how many military actions I have. Um, and so at the start of the game, you get to pick some cards. So I get to pick two cards, or at least two civic actions value of cards. Uh, these purple cards are uh, wonders, and we can kind of build them. Some of them give you... Uh, you know, ongoing benefits. Some, some of them give you like a one-time big benefit. Like this one gives me the benefit of food, but also culture and smileys. Because you don't want your culture to be upset. Uh, hanging gardens is kind of nice. Pyramids is also nice. Because um, it gives you an extra civic action. But this guy, uh, so basically you pick a leader and you're a leader for that age. There's like three ages in this game. All right, so this is uh, on your turn. You may use one of your military actions as a civil action. I do like him. I think I'm going to go ahead and take him. And I'll go ahead and end my turn. Early in the game, I have a hard time using my military actions, and I, I like having this civil. So as you can see, the computer did buy the pyramids, which I, you know, if they were there, I would have got them. Um, but as you can see, the card the card row kind of cycles. So anything in these last three are going to be basically discarded if you don't buy them. And then new cards are drawn out. And then these cards dictate uh, how quickly the game is going to end. So 
um, as these decks runs out, the ages change from age one to age two, age three, and then the game's over. Um, so right, so play your civil and military actions. We're gonna go ahead and get a new leader. Everyone's really happy about that. Um, Library of Alexandria. Let's look at that. You may have an extra civil card, one extra military card in hand, and it gives me culture and science, which is really good. So I think I'm gonna do that because science is how you come out with new technology. So this cost here is science. So I need four science to do that. So that's not gonna be that great. Um, stockpile gives me some extra food. So I think I'm gonna take that. Now you can't play a card as soon as you pick it up out of this row. So that's something to think about as well. We'll build a stage and let's go ahead and increase our population by one. You don't want to, if you don't use your blue tokens, like you're hoarding too many blue tokens, you actually have corruption in this game. So you kind of want to make sure at the end of your turn, that's when your production happens. Now we're drawing those military cards and political cards. Uh, so basically they played one. So when you play one to the pile, you draw one. And so there we are drawing all civilizations on your turn may build a warrior unit for free. So I do have an idle worker, so I will be able to build that warrior. That's why in the early rounds of the game, you do want to have an extra worker just always kind of sitting there bored so that you can utilize them and put them to work. So now we're in the political phase. Uh, we do have the Crusades. What are the, what's that one? The strongest civilization scores four victory points and the weakest loses four. Uh, right now, my military is one and theirs is two, um, which mine will be two as well. I don't know if I want to play that because I don't, I don't think that I would be the strongest. It just gives me too much to think about and I don't want to lose four. What's their, yeah, I think we're going to hang on to that. We're going to skip the politics phase. We're gonna build a warrior for free, so now we're even. You, I don't like focusing on military, but you can't ignore it because if you ignore it, you know they they get you. All right, all right. So right now, what do I want to do? I would love to do cartography because then maybe I would play cur uh, crusades, crusades. Oh man, why are words hard? All right, um, this one gives me a person. I get a grain back can build or upgrade. I think I do want to like upgrade. Um, I mean, I feel like I'm doing okay. That iron mine is going to be really, really handy. Oh, okay. So I'm going to do or, uh, <laughs> irrigation, not immigration. Uh, so I'm gonna, I think I'm going to buy that because those are really important. And then I do have two corruptions. So I do need to use my resources, so I'm gonna use it. Person's like, mm, kind of happy, but not that happy. So I will need to build a temple if I want to keep that happiness going. So now they're happy. I got a smiley face, and I will have enough science to build that. I don't have enough to build that. So I think we're not going to, well, I guess I could play stockpile. Might, might, might as well. Hey, why didn't I get each of, okay, sweet. Yeah, I did it. Okay. It just didn't update fast enough. So yeah, so the computer's kind of doing, they kind of built that uh, new iron mine, which I, I didn't get, but iron is really useful. It really is. Okay. Um, so knowing that in, uh, let's see, reign of terror, the weakest civilization on your turn loses one population, man. I just don't really have a lot of good cards to play. I just don't trust it. I really don't. I know I'm losing out on victory points, but I just, I don't like that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and skip it. So I think I'm going to play. 
irrigation, and then I can upgrade. So we are upgrading a lot of chickens in this world. So I could change my government to a theocracy. I'd get four, which I already have, and then a little bit extra uh, thing. I get some three. So you, you can actually. So let's just talk about this card. So this gives me additional, or not really, I, I already have four. Uh, but this would give me uh, an additional military action. It gives me uh, culture, attack, and a smiley face. And then I can also build three buildings uh, per type. Um, I'm not sure, what's my beginning, what's the beginning government? Yeah, two buildings per type. Okay, so that would be be a little bit better i think monarchy would be even better though i do get five actions uh, but man i would need a lot of science to get there i feel like i'm probably gonna have to to do that grab that um man i i really do need another okay so here's what i'm gonna do buy this because I need, I need more iron right now. And, oh, masonry isn't a bad card. Because urban buildings get cheaper. Hmm. This is tough. This game is so tough. So I could, I could get this. And that would make these buildings cheaper. So these are the urban buildings. These ones. These are your production buildings. Urban production. I do need to get this done before the end of the round. Um... I mean, part of me wants to get the knights just so I can start focusing on military. Let's do it. Let's just grab the knights. And then I can start playing these cards knowing that I'm going to... Oh, look at that. Perfect combo. All right, so Theocracy is going to go away. Or actually, no. Theocracy... Should... Nope. Yep. Okay, so we're still there. We got options. I might pick up Monarchy now that it's still here. And do I want to play Crusades? No, let's just wait on that. We're going to wait. But I do need... I do need um some money. All right, so I'm going to grab Monarchy. I could play it. Could change the government by revolution. So this does have the rule book. Um, where, oh, where is the changing of the government? Because governments, here we go. So as a re when you do a revolution, it is cheaper to change governments, but it, but it uses up most of your turn. It costs all of your civil actions and you pay a lower science cost. Note the actual cost of revolution is the number of civil actions equal to your civil action total. You must, okay. Most of the time this is your civil, okay. Hmm, okay. Um, so I think I, I could uh, resume game. I think I could just do this. It's going to, and since I have that extra, well, let's see if I'm going to corrupt. Hang on. Okay, no, I'm not going to corrupt. I think now's a good time. Yeah, so let's switch to government. We are a monarchy, which is fine. And I think that's what we're going to do. The next turn we'll have some extra, um, extra stuff. I could play get another military you know what maybe i will bump that up mm, i want to have an extra worker so let's go ahead and end the turn
Okay, sweet. I love that. That's actually going to do some good for us. We can play the printing press. Upgrade our labs. Wait, do I have the, do I have the printing press? Too? Oh, no, I don't. I have the knights. Wrong turn. All right, so I think... Hmm, what are the barbarians? So the civilization with the most culture points. If you are the weakest civilization, on your turn, lose one population. I think I'm going to do these crusades. All civilizations on your turn may either increase their population, build a farm, mine, or urban building, or develop a technology. This costs one less. Okay, so what do we want to do? Oh, man, I wish I could develop the knights, but I can't. Uh, raise my population, build a new farm, build a lab, build a temple. Um... I think I'm going to build a new farm. Nah, it's going to use up. Let's increase our population. All right. I need science really bad. So I could play this. Develop a technology after you pay the science costs. Take two. So I think that's going to be a good one to get. I do want to get... So this, this pile's depleting very quickly. So I think I might want to get a new a new leader. Um, your best lab. Oh, Genghis Khan. One or more of your infantry units. Oh, yeah, count as a cavalry unit for the purpose of tactics. And at the end of your turn, score three. If you're the stronger than your opponent, you win ties. That would be kind of good. It does go well with my tactics here. I think I'm going to do Genghis Khan. Snag him up. Ooh, there's there's some better science over there. I could grab that and just build up a nice big hand. Hmm. Oh yeah, but I do need to build stuff because I will have corruption. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to throw a worker there. We're going to play this. That way we're stronger military. Because we don't want to be weak. Just in case we get that card that we don't want. Well, we want it now if we're, if we're you know, stronger. And then I do have some civic actions I can still play. Smiles are important. Let's go ahead and build that wonder. Let's try to wrap this up because, like, I, I'm afraid that this uh, round's going to be over. And then, if this isn't completed, if the library isn't completed, then I'm done. So I don't want that. I want to get the the science from that. Uh, you know what? It kind of makes me think that I might want to go back and just finish this off. I might want to go back. Can I go back to my original decision? Hmm. No, I guess we will do population. I was thinking, could I? Yeah, I could. So I'm going to go ahead and complete that. I have one left, so I can't, I can't bump up. So I will be weak. So that, that is kind of a, a risk that I'm taking. And then I don't get Genghis Khan. But I think that's fine. I think this is going to be a better turn anyway. All right, this game, it, I'm telling you, YouTube is going to hate this video. It's going to be, it's too long, way too long of a video. Okay, here we go. Colonization. For faster online play and digital rules, simulate the colonization action with one round of simultaneous building, bidding. Uh, all players secretly bid how much they're willing to spend. And the highest bid wins the colony. Ties are broken uh, in player order, beginning with the current player. If you win, 
he might not have to pay as much as he bid. The winner must ascend. The colony's force is strong enough to beat the second best bid. Um, I think I'll, I'll, I'm just going to bid one. Green wins, of course. So green's going to have to bid one. Now we're back to even. Oh, Genghis Khan's still going to be there. So I will get him. Mr. Khan, thank you for sticking around. Appreciate it. So we're going to go ahead and get you. Yep, oh, no, I got to do my political actions. Um, this one is each civilization produces one. Oh, yeah, ignoring, ignoring corruption. Yeah, I think I want to do that. Just get some more, more stuff. Oh, another colony. Another colony. Oh, this gives me six victory points and a smiley. Let's do it. We'll bet up to one. Of course, green wins. There we go. Yep, there you go. Losing the colonies. That sucks. All right, so we're going to go ahead and play Breakthrough. And, ooh, do we do the Knights? Yeah, we're going to do Knights. We got to fix our military. We are weak. We are weak. Now, can I upgrade? No, I can only build... Okay. Uh, so let's play Genghis. Let's go ahead and throw him out there. So now... Yeah, we're going to use the military person. So we have... Um, basically two cavalry, if I throw this out there. Okay. Could do code of laws, culture, heritage. Um, yeah, that might be good. It's nice to have. Nice to have that. This could be an extra resource because the game goes on. You get less and less square boxes, and so like corruption happens more and more frequently. Um, but I don't know. That Taj Mahal doesn't really seem that exciting to me. Let's, let's go ahead and do reserves. Let's do that. We'll do culture, heritage. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm thinking, do I want to do warfare and just go, you know what? I always get beat. When I play this game recently, I've been very like passive. Yeah, I've been very passive. You know what I want to do though? Hang on. Let's undo that. I'd rather do breakthrough because I can play my alchemy. Okay. That's what we want to do. And the computer has just been destroying me because, like, later in the game, um, what what can I do? Oh, I guess I could play one of these. Yeah, but they're not gonna. It's not gonna help me. Yeah, it won't help me. So I'm gonna go ahead and not do that. Um, let's get rid of Rain of Terror. All right, so now we're in age two. So all civilizations lose two um, populations. So that means that, you know, right now you know, people are going to cost more to feed and you might be, and people are going to be really unhappy. Uh, yeah, see, we're, we're slightly unhappy. We're irritated right now. So I can't use that worker or people are going to get really upset and I'll lose points or, or production or something like that. It's, it's just bad. It's bad. All right, and then uh, it's my turn again. So Uncertain Borders, the strongest civilization, takes a yellow token from the weakest one. That seems pretty cool. So yeah, let's do Uncertain Borders. The strongest civilization. So Mosley is the strongest player. So thank you very much. Look at that. Look at that. That felt good. Let's keep that military. Let's keep the military up. So let's go ahead and do breakthrough. We're going to do alchemy. Now I think I can upgrade these. Yep. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade. And I 
don't have enough to do it again. I do need some happiness. So it would be cool if I just did the circus. I think this takes the place of... No, I think this is theater. Yeah, these icons here. Um, but you know what? It wouldn't be a bad idea to do that. It gives me military and smiles. And we love smiles in, in my culture. And yeah, you know what? Let's gain some wood. Let's disband you. Buy you. Play this. So now this should give me nine. Thank you. Because the Genghis Khan, this one counts as a horse. And because I am the horse lord. All right. And then engineering genius. Build a stage of a wonder paying three less. I don't really have any wonders. Ooh, but ah, this is difficult because I really want to get that iron. There's no way that's thing. So let's, let's roll it back because this is important. I need that. Later in the game, it's going to be really painful. Um, yeah, so let's do that. Oh, man, constitutional monarchy would be kind of cool, too. Gives me six. One, two, three, four, five. Gives me, like, one more. I don't think that's, I don't think that's, that's good enough. Oh, yeah, I wanted to do the circus. I don't think I need to do alchemy yet, so I think what I'll do is... But like maybe get a person, get one of these, play the horse card. Now I'm up to 10. This is a little bit better. I could play breakthrough and at least get that on the board. Yeah, and then I could play alchemy next. Yeah, this is a better turn, I think. Yeah, I love that this game has, like, it, it makes it so long to play. I'm not going to try. I'm not going to undo I'm just going to go with what I got just to make this game go a little bit quicker. Um, I mean, this this is a, this game is so addicting. It's literally Civilization, the card game, is really what this is. It's so good. All right, so green is the weakest player. So good job with my military might. Oh, look at them. They're like, we must... Build up an army. I am Genghis Khan. You know. Okay, so what that meant right there is when you saw that go, it means that my opponent can now uh, do a heavy cavalry uh, army and grab that card and use it. All right, so do we have any any one of the four? Okay, each civilization loses four per discontent, discontent or discontent worker. Mm, I do have some discontent workers. I don't know how I feel about that. We'll go ahead and play this one. Ooh. Let's bid one. Okay, green wins. Okay, green wanted it too. Okay, so now let's play... Like, ooh, we could do warfare or alchemy. Oh, but iron's probably the smarter one to play. Because I do need iron. So let's upgrade one of those. Let's do reserves. Let's gain two of those. That way we can spend it on a arena. Now we're happy. And we're gaining some culture points. Still winning the culture point war. Um, Johann Sebastian Bach. I don't think that's going to be a good one for me, but this Republic, this Republic would be good. So let's grab the Republic. All right. And then do we have anything we can do with our tactics? I think I already am on this one. So I think this is good. All 
Okay. Oh, there they go, building up their military. I better get serious about military. Look at them. Look at them. It is an arms race right now. Um, so we're going to skip politics right now. I don't really have any one that I want to do. I could do this. I could, it's going to take up one, two, three, four, five. So I would literally have two actions left. Um, is this one giving me anything? But yeah, okay. So I'm just getting actions out of this. So let's do the Republic. Oh, I thought I would have two. No, oh, never mind. I thought I'd have two more left. I guess I don't. Oh, this is kind of like a risky move. I don't know if I want to do that yet. I think I want. I think I have stuff I want to do. So let's go back. Let's not do that. Let's grab a person. I could do more military because I don't. I don't want to have corruption. Is essentially what I'm. I'm worried about there. So I could go up just to make sure I'm stronger. I don't have any people, so I can't build anything new. But I could upgrade this farm. That way, at least I'm gaining two a turn. And I could upgrade another mine. I also got to be careful, though, because I'm going to have to... Oh, you know what, though? This would help me. Okay, let's do justice system. Um, and then let's do breakthrough because we are going to be doing alchemy next turn. And I think that is all that we are going to do. And let's discard these. We don't need those because we're not doing people. We're doing horses. Now, we got to think about picking a new person. Um, so James Cook could be there. Or Isaac Newton. Ooh, what's this guy do? A revolution costs all of your military actions instead of your civil actions. Score three victory points. I think I want to do him. All right, so let's get through our political phase first. Oh, man, this game is going to be an hour long. All right. All civilizations on your turn. Choose one of your completed wonders of age of blood. Crumble it. This wonder loses its effect and produce... Ugh. I don't want to do that. Um, so, okay, per, oh yeah, per discontent. I don't have any discontented workers right now, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, I am the strongest one, so thank you. I will take that. Now we want to grab this dude. And I do have three horses, so that means that I don't need Genghis Khan to have this trigger anymore. I don't think Genghis is really doing anything for me. Oh, well, I guess I score three victory points. Um, but I think I will do this. Um, reverse my score and using breakthrough. Oh, I forgot that these count like those count as technology cards. So I could do breakthrough. Right, and then I can play Warfare. Just keep that military up. Um, you know what, though? Let me let me dial that back. I, I really do think I need to get Alchemy going. Because then that way I can upgrade and get more science to turn. Because that is always good. And, man, this would be better to play than this one. All right, so let's do reserves. We could do team sports. That gives me even more smileys and more attack. So let's do team sports. Because we like our football here. All right, and then... What 
can I do? Not much. Other than just pick a card and make the game end faster. Uh, so let's do strategy. And let's kind of iron that up anyway. And then we are going to discard that. We don't have any of those. What does this card do? Destroy up the two of your rival's urban buildings. One age two or older and one age one or older. And you gain equal to... Oh, wow. That would be awesome. Um, let's see if we can make that happen. All right, all civilizations. Calculate half of the disconnected workers running up on your turn. Lose that many population, so that's great. None of us are discontent. I love the random sound effects in this game. It's like, all right, where are we at now? The hour-long game. YouTube, come on. Enjoy this game. Um, all right. All civilizations on your turn. Choose up the one. Oh yeah. Hmm. Don't want to do that. I would love to do this. This is an aggression card in your hand. You may play it against a weaker civilization, which I, which I do. So why can't I? Okay, good. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to confirm. Ah, they defended. Okay. We gotta try it. All right, so what are we going to do now? We need science. We need science. I keep thinking that their hand is my hand. We need science. So I could build a new one. We do have reserves. Let's get a person. Let's go ahead and do alchemy. That way we get five a turn. So we'll have nine next turn. We can play military strategy, maybe. Um, we're doing okay on food. Okay on military. Ooh, the cannons. The cannons are a little bit better than the horses. Or I could do cavalry. So I think I can upgrade them. Could build and upgrade military units with my patriotism. And then I'm not going to be corrupted. That's great. I have one, a little bit of science, team stadium. I'll be, well, I have this decision to make. Do I want to do, I think I'm going to do strategy, military strategy. I want to stay strong. I think that's all I can really do. Um, I can't take any more things into my hand unless I play. Well, I might as well play this. Now, this is risky. Um, because it's risky because I could lose. Like, there's cards that make me lose all my stuff. So it's sometimes better to hang on. Okay, so now we're in age three. So all civilizations use, lose two populations. Uh, Mosley declares or discards warfare. So warfare, I didn't get to play it, so now it's out of my hand, which is fine. A civilization with the most culture points, uh, if you are the weakest civilization, okay, so I have the most culture points, but I'm not the weakest, so that is good. Again, like you really want to make sure that you kind of stay like really close military, military wise in this game. If you, if you don't focus a little bit on military, you will get destroyed. All right. So uh, all civilizations on your turn. Oh, yeah. I don't want to do that. All right. So we're going to do strategy. So now we are the strongest player yet again. Um, I would love to be, play Calvaryman or this one, but I can't right now. Because um, then I could just use this card to upgrade. Oh, but I do have some angry workers. Let's get someone there. So if you have like angry workers, but you have one kind of sitting idle, like not working, then it kind of erases that. So I think next turn I will do sports teams. 
That way I can upgrade this and get more smileys. Always more smileys. All right, what do we got here? Uh, you immediately score victory points equal to twice the culture production of your theaters. I don't have any of those. That's great. Um, civil science would probably be better than this one. If I could get there. Um, I do need a new god. A new god. A new leader. A new leader. On your turn, choose one. Score three. Or you have three science and three free iron for developing military unit technologies and building and upgrading units. Interesting. Winston Churchill. So I think this guy is kind of done. I kind of used him. Let's do Winston. We'll grab Winston. Um, we can throw Winston out. Gain military bonuses. So I don't know if I want to do military bonuses this turn. Yeah, because it won't do anything. So I'm going to score. I'm going to score uh, victory points. I don't want to do that right now. I might do food. Do I need more coal? Or organized religion? Or a cannon? Um, let's do urban growth and end the turn. Ooh, corruption. Oh, wait, yeah. Red alert, corruption, corruption. All right, then in that case, upgrade an iron mine. Corruption over. I love that this game like reminds you how to play. It's like, hey, you're gonna get corrupted. Oh yeah, let me let me undo my last move. That was stupid. All right, so we each civilization with a leader that is not from the current age must remove that leader from play. Well, good thing I just upgraded good old Winston. He is doing okay. This is the last age, by the way. Good old Winston. I don't think anyone's ever saying about Winston Churchill. All right. Um, what are we going to do? Impact of culture. Ooh, that's not going to help me out at all. So, yeah, at, uh, age three is when you start getting cards that, um, you know, cards that start gaining victory points at the end of the game. And right now, like, that's not a good one for me to play. So I think I'm going to go ahead and skip. Um, I do want to play sports teams because I need smileys and I also can upgrade. Man, that team, they're going crazy right now. All right, so we got plenty of smiles. Uh, let's go ahead and get... Uh, oh, yeah, I don't have enough food. Um, and then I wish that I could play this, but I'm not to play that next turn. Yeah, I do have plenty of time. The timer has not run out yet. Um, so I'm okay there. I am going to get corrupted. So I do need to use, I do need to use my money. Let's go back. Let's go back. Maybe we should play this because we, we got to get stronger. So yeah, we want to do Winston's Thing. So now we got more iron. Let's go here. Let's upgrade all of these guys. Okay. So we got that going. And then we still have some extra iron and things. It would be nice to get that. So I might grab that. All 
I'm wondering if I should grab like some tanks. I think this counts as yeah. So let's go ahead and grab the tanks because I can upgrade my cavalry into tanks because that's what happened. All right, and then let's do a revolutionary idea. So then we can play that tanks card. I still need more smiles, but I'm kind of okay with a discontent worker right now. Um, mm, I don't know. We'll we'll see. Reserves would be nice. That way I can have a nice, comfortable turn. Would that be crazy to play multiple? All right, so I'm not going to... All right, so I am going to have to discard cards, I think, though. Well, let's do those two. All right, I got a lot of iron. Um, game is wrapping up. So I have one discontent worker. Dang, or gone. Ugh. That could have been the game right there. I'll lose by four points. Anyway, I hope you guys are still sticking around. If not, um, the, the, the one person that sticks around, thank you. Like and subscribe. Tell your friends. All right. Where are we now? So we are not... Dang it. Like, I keep wanting to be the most powerful so that I can take these points. All right, so we're going to skip the politics. I think we're going to do this. We can do Winston Churchill. Right, is that is that what happened there? Yeah, because I got... Two left over. Yeah, so we're going to play this. And then... Let's upgrade. Sorry for all the tank noise. I, I can't hear you over all the tank noise. Oh, man, I wish I had that dude. I wish I had that dude. Um... So I could score that. That gives me up to eight. So I could play the justice system or sports team. Let's do sports team. Let's upgrade. Let's grab a new person. Nah, you know what? There's no reason to do a discontent, discontent person right now. Um, I do need to spend my money, though. Well, does that help me? Yeah, that does get me out of corruption. So let's just hang tight and just see if I need to do that. I, I do wish that I could... Well, I guess I could disband this worker. And then buy another tank. Can I not do that? Oh, because I don't have a military action. Dang. Well, I guess I could do this and buy another tank. Just to really, you know, show them that I mean business. And then I could gain another person. But now I do risk discontentment. So I don't think that's worth it. What does patriotism do? Oh yeah, I gain a military action plus that for units. So I could, could I do that twice? Does that stack? It does stack. And then I could use one of those to actually use both of those to do that. And then I do have reserves. Do I want to hang on to reserves, though? I think I do. I should, I should do a person. And end the turn. Um, let's get rid of that one. And that is it.
All right, so the game is going to be almost over. Thanks for sticking with me. Wow, this was a long one. Um, this is a long game. It is. It, it's it's kind of why I've been holding off on doing it, even though it is probably one of my favorite, favorite ones. Okay, so destroy up to your two rivals over buildings. One age. Da, da, da. Okay, this one. Oh, yeah, that one might be good. What is this one? Yeah, these these two. We're gonna we're gonna take some victory points away. Wait, why can't I? Oh, is it because they have Gandhi? Wait, what is his ability? You may not play aggression or war card. Your rivals must pay an extra three military actions to declare aggressions or war against you. Oh my, that sneaky person. So now, hey, hang on. Three extra? Oh man, that sucks. I I need one more. Uh, do I have any way to get more? No. Okay. Uh, right there, I do. Right there. So let's go ahead and skip politics. It'd be sweet if I could somehow play that. Well, I would. I, I could next turn if there is a next turn. I don't have any corruption, which is good. Now I have an extra person. Um, man, yeah, I think it's kind of important that I that I play this. Um, yeah, because that's that's gonna be a fine. That'll be fine. And then I can play an aggression. No, but it, we're not gonna have another turn. Right? This is the end. Or is there 30 more cards? No. Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. That sucks. Because these are the, the other... Yeah. So, essentially... Well, I might get a couple more turns. I might get... Well, so, okay, so... Three car four cards are coming out, and it goes back to me. I play this. I won't be able to play that. Yeah, I think I'm stuck. So I think it's going to be better. There's really no other way. Well, I guess unless I did communism. Hang on. Let's, let's go back. Skip politics. But see, now I won't be able to play communism this turn. Yeah, so that wouldn't really help me. That's not going to... That's going to help them. This will get me 20 points, though. So I think I'm doing okay there. Oh yeah, my Winston Churchill could give me the power to do that. So we will just score three victory points. And I think we'll have to end the turn. So I think I lost. But I'm a, I don't know. All right, so yeah, there it is. Ooh, do I want that? So I could get up to three, four. Okay. So we'll play that. And we'll play that. And that should be everything I need. So I got a colony. Yay! All right, so then, yeah, this is it. 
So I think what I need to do is I don't think I can do aggression. Yeah, I still can't do aggression, so that's sad. Um, Man, that's not going to score me points. So I guess we skip again. All right, so we could do civil science. And then now I'm not being corrupted. People cost a little less, but it doesn't matter. Wait. Does that stack? Well, let, let's stop. Let's stop. Let's do professional sports teams. So we got that going on. Engineering isn't going to help us. Is that giving me culture? No. So why don't we... Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, okay, let's go back, go back, go back. Ah, back, 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 back. Let's finish this first. And the reason we're doing that is, oh, man. Okay, so we got that. Now we don't have any... Any, anything left. We do have plenty of science and nothing that's going to help us to get more points somehow. We're looking for points. Uh, the movies, um, but that's not going to help us because I can't build the movie theater. The movie theater is 11. Oh, my God. I can't even build that. I could do Winston Churchill and build more military. Um, or I can get. Uh, so let's go ahead and play civil science. Um, is there anything that could potentially help the computer. That let's just look for those cards. Let's just grab things that we don't want anyone else to have but us. Um okay, so let's do score some points. Oh man, this is tough. That's not gonna help us and this isn't gonna help us. So then there we go. I don't know if I get it. I don't know if I get it a, la a last turn. Okay. You completed the internet. Congratulations. Congratulations. You completed the internet. This is your final turn of the game. Oh, man. So that's way too much. I don't have enough to do that. Well, we both are going to get the same amount of points. I think I'm going to pass. Everyone passed. Great. Um, We can get some points that way. Does Bill Gates get me anything? Why can't I take Bill Gates? Um. Yeah, so I think I, I'm trying to see if there's like any way that I could get some more points. I do have three. How much does this cost? This costs three. So if I just disband... 
kind of want to keep my military up just in case. So let's take a science and move it over to religion. That way we can get, where are they at? 93, man. Okay, and then that's all I can build. Let's get some computers. Let's just, I guess, get those out of my hand. I mean, it would be cool if I could play that, but there's no way. There's just no way. There's, I don't have enough. I don't have enough. All right, so let's just get to the point where the last turn of this game is just like nothing. Don't want to do that. The only reason I can do that is because of Winston, and I want to get three more victory points, and then, oh, uh, man. I don't really have anything else to do. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and end. All right, so now these cards get scored. So each civilization scores two victory points for every content worker above 10. So I got 10, 10, okay. Uh, each civilization scores points equal to double the amount of whatever it is productions. So I got six, they got eight. And that was it. They win. So there they go. I lost against the computer. Uh, I think I did pretty good. Uh, only lost by a little bit. Um, man, Gandhi really saved them. If, if they didn't have Gandhi, I would have won. But this video has been long enough. Uh, thank you all for watching. I know this is a long game, but if you love Civilization, play this game. Go ahead and get it. You'll love it. Um, if you have the physical version of this game and it's too fiddly and too difficult to play, buy this game. It makes it so much easier and fun and enjoyable. It does have a very good competitive online scene as well. Um, so really, there is no reason not to buy this game if you love Civilization board games. So anyway, I will see you all next time and thank you all for watching. Bye.